I'm for me crochet. Hello and welcome to my channel. We're going to continue on with the great fall and autumn uh, crochet patterns, including some for specifically for Thanksgiving. And today we're going to take a look at mushy mushy mushrooms and toadstools, whatever you want to call them. I love mushrooms and toadstools. They are very decorative and of course I love them in nature as well. Now here's a little doll. She's adorable. She has a mushroom hat and look at the stitching uh, in her belly there she's full of fun details and i think we have uh let's well let's zoom in on oh let's see if we can get a nice zoom on her belly there love this little embroidery uh it's not very clear in this way but uh, you can get the idea it's a very fun idea good now this little fella has a nice friendly face and some awesome mushroom <laughs> <laughs> toadstool uh, feet there very cute very decorative it's a fun little uh, a fun little guy and uh, should be great to uh, to make for uh, this season now here's a little um, money um, thing a purse uh, what was it called it's uh, a portemonnaie it's a, it's a, a wallet that's the word <laughs> cool idea to make it into a wallet and uh, here's some coins uh, I think this is British coins, I'm not exactly sure, but it's nice. Also a little bit of embroidery there. Very nice and decorative and a fun, fun gift for uh, for someone, for some kid or for yourself. I'm not judging you. Here's another little amigurumi doll, a mushroom. Um, I think the hat comes off. I think we have, there it is. <laughs> it's adorable. It's in different sizes. So different kinds of yarn gives different sizes. And the hat is just very, very perfect. It's, a, it's just very cute. Look at the little cheeky cheeks. Very adorable. Now Mala Designs does not disappoint with her designs. And this one is not an exception. Look at this gorgeous, gorgeous toadstool. Big eyes. Very dramatic effect. I love the little <laughs> cluster here with the massive one and the itty bitty small one. <laughs> it's just adorable. If you want to wear a toadstool this year, make yourself this gorgeous toadstool beret. It's uh, very, um, very fashionable and uh, well, it's, it's fun. It's fun looking and uh, it, it will make you uh, stand out from the crowd. And of course, we cannot forget our little uh, little pets. Uh, make this, make your dog or other pet a, a nice mushroom. <laughs> Here's a little uh, guinea pig, I think it is, um, or a marmot. I'm not sure. I can never tell them apart, but they seem to be very nice and snuggly in their little toadstool homes. Adorable. Very, very cute. Look at that. That was so fun. They're so sweet together. Very, very sweet. Now here's a completely different kind of toadstool. These sexy, if you never thought mushrooms could be sexy, take a look at these uh, toadstool nymphs, mushroom nymphs. Uh, of course, you can make them without the, the boobies, uh, but uh, they have quite the, um, the 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 body on them. And here it is with uh, with the friends, uh, the little nymphs of the wood, like a flower and leaves. They're gorgeous and they are quite versatile. They do require a little bit of hardware to make them, um, to give them different poses, but uh, they are quite decorative as well. They're they're fun. Now, completely different kind of mushroom is this little fella. Massive, massive, uh, massive hat there. Gorgeous. I love the different yarns used. It gives a nice and snuggly feel to it. It is just perfection. As is this one. This is chanterelle or canterelle. I've no idea how to pronounce it, but <laughs> it is so cute. Love the the details here on the on the uh, on the on the hat uh, type. Chiku. It's called Chiku. Little uh, face there, adorable. I uh, love the little details with the beads and everything. And it's uh, it's it's just, just very sweet and adorable. Um, and it has a nice little, nice little nose there. <laughs> very very nice. Here's a mushroom gnome with his little mushroom uh, friend, I suppose, or pet, or however you want to call it. A little bit of embroidery there. Gorgeous beard, but of course. The 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 hero here is the mushroom hat with the little uh, beaded um, details there. Here's the little mushroom friend with a bit nice little flower on it, and here's a detail a shot a close up of the mushroom with the little beading there. Nice details, beautiful execution, love it. 
and, and a cute little mushroom elf, I suppose, looking at the ears. She, she has a gorgeous hat and a nice little outfit there. I think everything comes off. I'm not exactly sure. I think I have a photo. There it is. Here she is in, in all her glory. The cape comes off and the hat comes off. And uh, so it's fun for kids to play with. And uh, But also it makes a very nice decorative piece for the season. Now these little guys work up fairly fast, they're cute, have a little kawaii smiles there. You can make them as little presents, you can put them anywhere in your house, make a little garland of them, hang them in Christmas trees, whatever you want. They're very versatile and, and, and cute. This one takes up a little bit more um, effort with all the beading and, and de detailing on there. Um, um, very decorative uh, little fella. You can also make it without the arms, so it's more of a mushroom mushroom type. Um, if you want to create some sort of fall scene. Um, these are fun too. A little uh, mushroom applique, different uh, different sizes. I think there's a couple of different sizes there. And here's a, an example on how you can style them. You, you can make them into fridge magnets. You can applique them on hats and bags and on um, invitations and cards that you're sending out they are uh, lovely and versatile and well you can never make enough i suppose here is a nice mushroom purse <laughs> it has a little string you can close up i think i have more photos yeah here it is it's this bigger one and a smaller one and they are quite adorable here it is in green also very nice very fun oh look at this look at this is an example of what you can do with it we can put in there nice little purses there for the great keepsakes these are perfect for some home decor or uh, some other purpose whatever you want to do with them of course they are timeless different shapes all different shapes i love the little crooked little sort of sorting hat mushroom cap there very nice and here they are in detail yes all the different shapes and sizes and you can of course decorate them however you want i really like the sort of crooked little pleated mushroom cap there very very adorable now this little fella is ready for autumn or ready for spring it's ready for anything really <laughs> he's having a good time with his little garden pants there and nice little hat i think and there is his little friend in green they look like a happy couple there very adorable uh, <laughs> They're just very cute. I don't know what else to say. And here's another cute kawaii uh, mushroom um, with, together with his friends Pumpkin and Acorn. Uh, I think they come as a set of patterns so you can have three for the price of one. But I chose it because I really like this little mushroom fella. Another mushroom bag. This one is comes with a nice cord so you can hang it. There it is in action. With a nice, uh, oh, it has two openings. It has a little zipper on the bottom, and it has the uh, the lid with the uh, with the button on the top. And here it is in the wild, maybe looking for some other mushrooms. Big sort of Mario mushrooms type of situation. Kawaii, massive eyes and little cheeky cheeks. They are fun, decorative. Um, of course, you can make the the face however you want, but they are quite cute with the. <laughs> with the massive kawaii eyes they are very fun completely different as this little fella is cute as well but very very subdued in his in, in the lines and in the um the facial expression i suppose very cute and i love the little limbs um here's the back it's, it's adorable these are more um lifelike i suppose great for uh autumn displays and you know um decor all sorts of different ones, the chanterelle and the champignon and the, I don't know what else. I, I have no, I really don't know anything about mushrooms. I'm, I do apologize. A sweet, another sweet mushroom gnome. This one with a orangey type cap with little um, uh, leaves there sticking to him. <laughs> nice orange beard as well. Vanduka with her outrageous mushroom applique pattern gorgeous lots of detail lots of extra bling there and make it into any applique and use it for any applique purpose that you want very decorative and colorful adorable uh, another mushroom hat here another mushroom beret <laughs> oh very nice and here's a whole little mushroom family i love the little eyes <laughs> they're quite cute together 
Um, here they are with uh, some very funky mushroom colored mu colored caps. With uh, I love the details in the uh, the ridging in the under the cap there. Very cute. They are they're quite adorable. I like the massive cap on them. Very very sweet. Here's another. Here's a little mushroom fella with the sweet. Uh, I love the red and red. Of course, the red mushroom, the red toadstool with the white dots is very popular and it's incredibly decorative. Love the little stitching here. Uh, making uh, into his pants, I suppose. A little bit easier is this uh, this little mushroom um, fellow, a little nose here, but not much of a face expression. It uh, has a little friends with a pine cone, I think this is. And uh, so there they are with a little gang all together. But of course, our hero is the mushroom, the mushroom man, the little mushroom man. But his friends are adorable too. And here's a top view of the three. And that's it for the mushrooms and the toadstools. I thought they were fun. I think I have another video. I will link it if I can find it. And of course, I wish you happy crocheting.